This episode is all about a very rough journey to the Spiti Valley, a desert valley located high in the Himalayan mountains. Even though the journey was rough, me and my friends have done our best to capture it in its rawest and share it with you. So sit back with me on my motorcycle and watch till the end, experience the journey and see a place in India which looks like the planet Mars. The infamous Rotang Pass felt like Bangalore traffic except that this was on a mountain. We set off to a place called Kaza in the Spiti Valley, which is around 200 kilometers from Manali. And with 90% of the route being off-road, it will take two days to reach. Thank you, Sachi. you enjoying the back seat? I was having an amazing time riding these roads and these views. But little did I realize that this was the last time we're going to see good road for the next two days. Rotang means corpse field. This pass has taken many lives of the people trying to cross it in bad weather conditions. It looks amazing to me. If you don't love motorcycling then you should probably stick with public transportation for this destination. But if you love motorcycling then this will be an ecstatic experience mainly because of the true off-roading challenge. Just look at those snow-capped mountains, with every moment it's one feet closer to them and few feet farther from home. After a whole day of riding and after 100 kilometers, we reached this place called Patal. 
This is the only place on the way to Gaza that you can stay for warm food and shelter. The next day we started to Gaza. Everyone going on this route will definitely know Chacha Chachi Dhaba. Even though they are the only one providing accommodation and food on this route, their hospitality was welcoming. The best thing about going on a motorcycle to these places is that you have the freedom to go off the usual path to see some beautiful things and take the most peaceful rests. Throughout the ride, we were praying that a tire doesn't go flat and we don't get stranded in the middle of nowhere. Some bridges felt very weak and we also hoped that they don't break. When we find bad roads in our cities, we curse the government for not building proper roads. But there are no roads here and still nothing to complain about. I think this place remains beautiful till day because of that very fact. I realized that the travel is all about meeting new people. Travelers I met on my journey have inspired me more to keep traveling. So it's like a chain reaction. The people you meet on one trip far away from home is enough to inspire you for the next trip and so on. And before you know it, you're inspiring more people around you to travel as well, just like I'm trying to do here. After two days of rough riding, we reached Kaza. Kaza is a small town in the Spiti Valley and shares a Buddhist culture. It quickly becomes difficult to remember that we are still in India. If you happen to be here, don't miss the key monastery. You can stay with the monks and get a taste of their daily routines. Not only starting for a trip, but also starting back home is an exciting feeling. We're more excited about sharing the story, getting back into business and preparing for the next trip. Something will always go wrong on a trip like this. But you will find a way to keep going. Don't let that stop you.
Thanks for making it this far. I have an even more beautiful journey to share with you in my next video. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe and bell icon to get notified and share this video with your travel loving friends. Feel free to ask any questions about this trip in the comment section below. I'll see you on the next one.